Hey, what's going on guys? You boys Pilot 2K7 and we are back for brand new Grand Photo 5 mods video. Today we're gonna be doing some firefighting down here in Los Santos. We're currently running out of the headquarters firehouse here in the city. Now before we start uh, responding to calls, I just want to take a quick moment to say and not only say but also to remember all of our heroes, all of our armed forces members who have died while fighting for our freedom. I just want to say thank you to them. Thank you to their families as well. And then also thank you to those who continue to serve. But today is Memorial Day. So we really just want to focus on those who have passed away while defending our country. And again, just, you know, thank them for making that ultimate sacrifice and, you know, just fighting for our freedom. So before we get into today's video, if you guys could just, you know, do me a favor just participate in this moment of silence and let's just remember our fallen heroes All right, thank you everybody for participating in that moment of silence. So as we were saying, uh, we're gonna be doing some firefighting uh, today. We are using fire callouts. We're still on the beta version 1.9.0. I have both the beta version and the regular version linked down below if you guys would like to download it. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get our shift started. So all of the guys are ready to go. We're actually using one of Medic's fire trucks. This is actually out of his old fire uh, pack from I think like two years ago now. It's crazy how fast time flies, but this is old fire pack and I really like this engine, engine number two, uh, Bay Ridge. And I like this because it has a beautiful tribute on the back with the flag as well as the armed forces and the Statue of Liberty. Let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comment section. Definitely one of my favorite paint jobs on this fire truck here. Very, very nice. We also used this uh, last November too. Uh, we used this for Veterans Day as well as we remembered all of the veterans. But again, you know, I want to just say thank you to our military past present as well as uh, current as well so I think I said that <laughs> I said that wrong but you guys know what I mean all units we have a fire alarm in little so all right guys we're getting our first call report of a fire alarm coming in it's not a confirmed fire yet but we're going to be responding to it in emergency mode. Obviously, we do not know if it is a real fire or just a false alarm. So let's go ahead and respond. There, if it's a false alarm, you may leave. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do some investigating. Looks like it's gonna be over here. Also, looks like the call is underneath us, guys. I think. I think it's in the subway station. Oh shoot! All right. I think I hear it too, so we're going to treat this as a real farm. Go ahead and start hooking up our hydrant here. We're going to also turn on our pump. Whoops, pressed the wrong button there. We're going to turn on our pump. We'll also get our gear on. So we're going to go full PPE for this. Stretch the line. And let's go searching. So I think I hear a fire, guys. This is actually the first time I'm responding to something in the subway. So this is kind of interesting. That's going to be a long stretch here. All 
Alright, so let's investigate and see if we find anything down here. So far, nothing. Alright, we're making our way into the lower level. Now, in real life, we'll have like things like standpipes and stuff like that to make this a little bit easier in most subways. So far, I'm surprised we don't see anybody. It's like this place is shut down. I do hear something though. Yep, we got smoke showing, guys. That sounds like it's mainly over here. Let's go ahead and mask up. Holy crap. This is the first time I ever had a fire down here. This thing looks huge. Whoa, look at this, guys. Alright, is anybody down here? We could tell people to evacuate. I don't see anybody yet. Uh, start flowing water. This is so cool, though. I always wanted to do a fire down here in the subway, too. And I didn't even realize it was one of the calls. Nice. Trains running? Oh, we got fire behind us. We got fire on the other side. I hope they don't open up the doors and let people out over there. Let me go look really quickly. See if they're letting anybody out. Okay, good. Nobody came out. Oh, look at everybody's panicking inside. Don't worry. Let's get this train out of here. Let's get it out of here. Alright, looks like we have the fire under control, guys. We'll check for extension. Looks like we have no victims either. Everybody's able to self-evacuate. So we'll start bringing this line back. That was a pretty cool call though. Let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comment section. That was a nice change of pace from our normal like house fires and fires in the stores and stuff like that. Alright, so we'll put away the hose and we will turn off the pump, take off our turnout, and we are ready for the next call. We are code 4, no further units required. Oh, that was close. 
Alright, let's head back to the firehouse. Yeah, guys, I was not recording. I cannot believe this. We, we responded to another fire, though. I cannot believe we didn't record. Dang it. That's okay. I, I apologize about that. But we're on scene of a second call now. And uh, it's, a, it's another house fire. So far, we've just been on the exterior putting out some of this fire. Still trying to make our way inside. I cannot believe I was not recording. My bad, guys. It seems like two houses on fire actually, or is it just one? It's like just fire all over the place. Looks like it is under control. Actually, no, it is not. There's fire on the roof there too. I want to go inside and see if there's fire in the house too. Now I'm not sure how this is gonna work with me holding this hose, because with this type of house, I think this is one that teleports us inside. Oh no, it's not a okay. paper. Oh, we got somebody in here, guys. We have somebody in here. All right, let's pull her out. We're gonna need EMS to our location. This grab here, by the way, is coastal callouts. So let's request an ambulance. Ambulance, assistance required in West Vinewood. Looks like she's currently not breathing. I want to see if we could perform CPR on her and get her back. <laughs> I'm just dragging the holes with me everywhere I go. Hey guys, so we finished our searches inside. There was no fire and no other people. So I think the only fire we have left is the fire on the roof. Alright, got this last spot over here, and it should be under control. We are code 4. No further units required. 
Alright guys, so that is gonna do it for today's episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I messed up on the responding to that second call. I think I just, I don't even know what I did, but obviously I messed up there, so I do apologize. But really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Also check out my website, acepilot2k7.com. On my website, I have some extra and bonus videos, some exclusive videos that are only uploaded on my website. Also, I have some behind the scenes videos so you guys can kind of see how I set up my videos and my thought process behind uh, some of the things I do and like which mods I use to do what and how I do all that stuff. Check out the behind the scenes. Plus, I have a lot of tutorials. I have merchandise. I have mod lists. I have a bunch of content. So, check out my website. Link down below in the video description. Ace Pilot. 2k7.com one more time happy memorial day and thank you to our armed forces and um let's make sure we remember the ones that made the ultimate sacrifice so with that we'll go ahead and end the video